Hey guys, what's going on? Definitely not the video I wanted to uh, bring out. I got a video that I am getting ready to put out probably next week. It's kind of a long part video that I had to wait to get everything done for. Um, but in the meantime, we got kind of something really serious and it's something that I've kind of the last about two and a half weeks hoped would work itself out. It hasn't. Um, it will, but it hasn't yet. So I guess it's time to come clean about it and explain kind of what's going on. And it was never my intention to hide uh, any situation from anybody. I just thought it was going to be fine and the stuff would show up and we'd be good. So here's the situation. Everybody who ordered an SRO from January to mid-February, that January 31 to 217 pre-order cutoff date. Um, let me preface by saying this. We are no longer selling anything in the store that's not in stock. SRO's gone, we're never selling them again. Um, magnifiers, you can't purchase them right now because they're not in stock. They stayed on the store because I like them and I want to sell them, but I don't have any because of the situation we're going to go into now. So SROs, we're not selling them anymore. We will not be pre-ordering anymore besides for the new site that comes out that I actually have control over what happens with a completely different supplier, a very professional supplier. That one we will do a pre-order with because I believe that we're going to have no issues. I'm going to include some proof of what's going on here. Now, I'm not going to go show you my entire conversation with it, but a little snippet with the conversation with my supplier. So, the people who ordered from January to February, your stuff is sitting in U.S. Customs. It's been there for a month. Um, I was told that it was selected by random. Uh, working with DHL International, that's who does our shipping. Normally, I get stuff within a week. It leaves China within a week. It's here every time. Um, it took them a little bit to get it sent out after the new year. I would say it didn't get sent out till probably the last week of February is when they finally shipped it and sent me the shipping notification. And then as soon as I got that shipping notification, um, four or five days later, I was, I pulled it up and it says it's stuck in a port. Um, and every time I just checked it again this morning, it's still stuck in U.S. Customs. Um, I don't know why. I, I don't know why. The only thing that I can think of is that since the new administration took over, they have really, if you look on certain websites where you can buy um, over-the-seas goods for ARs and tactical rifles, a lot of that stuff isn't for sale because they're not allowed to send it into the country right now. And I think I had a couple handguards in there. I had a couple foregrips a couple more braces um, along with about three thousand dollars in optics in that order one box they send a big box and it's in customs it's been sitting in customs for a long time when i realized that when i did the order for the march pre-order so the there was another 10 or 12 sros that sold from when i ordered in mid-february till like the first week of march I ordered the same exact order for optics for you guys again. I ordered it again. So I have two of everybody's order. I ordered it again because I didn't know how long it was going to be. That got rejected at customs in China because they put lithium batteries in. They didn't take well they put them in they didn't take the lithium batteries out. When I ship DHL International, you cannot ship lithium in a plane. They don't allow it. So, I don't know if they were in a rush, if they're too busy because of after the Chinese New Year. I mean, I talk to you guys, I've said that phrase a thousand times because it's been just a really huge issue with what I have going on here. And it sucks. Um, and they screwed up again. Same supplier. They forgot to take the batteries out of the sites, and now that is sitting in Chinese customs. That has to be returned to the warehouse where it shipped from. They have to take the package apart, take the batteries out, and then ship it out again. And I don't know what's going to happen with that. Here's the result for everybody that's ordered an SRO. One of two things are going to happen, and I guarantee them to happen. I have always been... 100% up front with you guys. 
I'm looking directly into the camera. I've always been 100% upfront with you guys, and this is no different. I was just hoping that we would either the new shipment would come or the uh, the one in customs would clear and they would all be sent out this week and there'd be no big deal. But I've had four or five people reach out this week and I was kind of waiting to see if it was going to nothing happen and we're still in the same boat. So here we are. I wanted to make a video and just explain it. I'm going to drop in, probably try to overlay the messages that I've been receiving from my suppliers. We are done using that supplier, 100% done. This is the third time I've had shipping issues with that supplier, this being the most severe issue. And I don't know if the customs thing is their fault on our end, um, on the US side, but definitely it was their fault on the uh, Chicom side. So that sucks. One of two things are gonna happen. You're gonna get your SRO. If you want your SRO, you're gonna get your SRO, okay? I promise it, I will get them eventually. I don't care if it takes a week to two to three from now, I'm going to get them. I'm going to send them out. I promise you will get, or you will get refunded. If you decide you don't want it, um, you will get refunded. Here's the issue. I have asked the supplier to please refund the second order that they're going to automatically receive back. It's never going to come to me until they get it and get the batteries out of the product. I asked them to just, take all that stuff back and refund my order. That way I can just process refunds to as many people as possible, just in case that one, because there's, I've talked to a few people, there's packages that sit in customs for a month, month and a half, two months till they get cleared, especially since COVID. So that could be a mess. I cannot, right now, I cannot offer a refund to more than four or five people. So I don't want to offer it to anybody. So I'm just asking, you made your commitment to me. I'm making my commitment to you to damn well make sure that you guys either get your site or get your refund. I just have to wait until one of those two things breaks open because don't forget, remember what I said. I didn't just order what I needed. I ordered way over the first order and then all the pre-orders I ordered again, plus I ordered the first order again. So because I knew it was going to get hung up for a few weeks once it did and it was going to be there, I thought I could get everything in a week. I wanted to get the people who ordered already. I wanted to get them their stuff. So I have two and a half times the amount of product that I need ordered. I don't have any more money to put out right now. Um, not when it comes to refunding 55, 60 people on SR. I can't do it. I, there's no way. I already spent my own money trying to make this situation right. The three weeks ago when I realized it was going south. So hang in there, guys. I promise. I promise. If you absolutely need your money back right away and it's an emergency, get a hold of me. I'll see what I can do. But I promise I'm making the commitment. You will get your optic or you will get your refund very, very soon. I'm working on emails. Uh-oh, we got a little guy who's upset. Working on emails right now, trying to figure out what I can do to get my package out of customs. And uh, if you have any questions, comment below. I'm sorry, guys. If you have any questions, comment below. Until the next time we see you, look out. Good video coming soon. We'll see you.